Hello and welcome back to Prison Architect on the Boozle Box. This is episode 59, I believe, and this is actually day 59 because I whisked it on a little bit to get some more money. Yes, last episode we ran out of money and, and that was bad because I kind of like having money and being able to do things. Also, uh, Christmas was a complete sham. The Christmas party was awful. They, I don't know what they did here. Look, they... they Bob and and Jeff and Gilf and Fred and Sheila and Margaret, they just had a field day on the yard and have made this... Uh, well, it's not too bad. It's a, it's a Christmas tree, you can kind of tell. But, um, you know, it's not Christmas anymore. So, unfortunately, we've just got to get rid of it. I don't think Bob's going to be too happy. But nobody tell him. He won't know. <laughs> Goodbye, Christmas tree. Anyway, it's bad luck to have Christmas decorations up after such and such a date, so just pretend you didn't see it. Otherwise, something bad might happen. And in this prison, that's probably gonna happen. So, uh, not a lot happened during the uh, two or three days it was since the last episode in the prison. Someone did try to escape through this door. Um, I think... I think it's, it's it's not damaged, so that's cool. If I sound extra croaky today, it's because I went out last night. So I have a bottle of water to attempt to relieve my croaky voicey thingy majig. Anyway, things to do. I have uh, been messing around with a plan for the uh, solitary maximum security wing up here. And I think I've got it down to a T, so we'll start implementing that shortly. I have a list of things that I have to do. Yes, a lovely long list. I've um, got a couple names in the game that people want in, so let's do that now. Extras, names in the game. Right, the first one, um, I think it's pretty freaking awesome. And someone, I Lars Snedka, I think that's right. If that's wrong, I'm sorry. But uh, I tried. <laughs> has, has actually put the boozle box in um, the game, so thank you very much for that. I was arrested due to locking people up and throwing their clothes onto a flaming pit of death. Hmm. Okay, sounds about right, maybe. <laughs> Transfer, okay, and the last person is... Uh, oop, I'm not even freaking typing. That would help, wouldn't it? There we go. No, no that is not how you spell loop. And I'm moving up and down in the background. Yay. Lu, lu, wait, I'll just scroll down. It'd be easier. Ah, right, there we go. Luke, Mini Cthulhu Sims. I think I said that right as well. Well-known YouTube personality. He made his living of videos and working in a lab. But after hacking into the government and making everyone go mad, he was caught 20 years later and sentenced to prison and to paint models to the end of his days. Models. Is that like little figurines or people? Because if it's people, I don't think that's a harsh sentence. No. Hmm. We'll transfer as well. There we go. So, Luke, you are also going to be in the game. Little disclaimer. Anything that happens to you, any, any, just anything, it wasn't my fault. I won't pick on you. I promise. If anyone wants their name in the game, just uh, stick it in the comments below and I'll... I'll put you in the prison to be pr prisonized. Nothing will happen. I promise. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> right, so that's the first part of my list. Uh, done. Ooh, look, there's like a conga line of prisoners. So there we go. Boozer Box and Luke Sims are being uh, transferred into the prison. Let's start looking at this thingy majigamabob because we need to start things being built in it. Now, this is the solitary wing. Uh, well, this is the solitary wing. This is going to be maximum security wing. I had the idea of kind of segregating it off from the main part of the prison. I I want this canteen to be just for these maximum security bits. And then I want them to have kind of self-contained areas inside. So their own laundry, their own common room. All of that kind of lovely, stuffy, stuffy, waffy. Uh, actually, just before we go into that, let's add an extra layer of security down here. Because I'm, I'm worried that someone is going to try and escape again. I don't know why he tried to escape. He just kind of ran into it and face-planted. And then someone came and whacked him over the head with a baton. 
and uh, he fell over and bled lots and then had to go to the infirmary and I think he was probably feeling like a right and utter tit but you know the sight of freedom you can do strange things so thank you uh, Bob and possibly Margaret maybe I don't know I couldn't see their faces so we'll put that into shut mode as well and uh, we've got Oh, the new new prisoners, new prisoners! Yay! And we've got to keep that on because otherwise we just we kind of don't get enough prisoners. We have one maximum security prisoner. Where are you? Anyway, let's let's say hi. Hi, hi. Can I spot myself? Oh, that was Luke. Hi, Luke. Uh, where am I? No! I must have missed myself. Uh, box. Yeah, let's go box. Nice. Right. Get him in. Torture them. No, sorry. Uh, re rehabilit rehabilitate them. Why are you... Why are you injured and tired? Oh, Someone store him in a medical bed. That's it. Store yourself in a medical bed. Saves on other people's time. Yes. Moving on to this thing. Now we've done that extra layer of security down there. Ah, <sighs> Right. To start with, I think we need to implement a nice concrete wall to stop any maximum security peoples uh, from escaping. And also people in solitary confinement. Because we don't want them getting out either. Because they're solitarily confined. Yeah. Uh, we also want to add a wall back here. So when we start building stuff, uh, prisoners can't go and... Well, go. Literally. Outside. Woo! Bye-bye. That kind of go. Don't want that happening. No. So, we put wall. And they now can no longer go. We're also going to have to somehow... Um, possibly put some like fancy thing along here. Or actually build this building. And then block this off and this off to stop people getting out. Maybe. It's a possibility. We can, we can look into it in a bit. Let's get the foundations out. And... Oh, God. Bob's going to have to walk all the way around. I feel sorry for you, but at the same time, I think it's funny. Ha ha ha. Walk. Bob. Okay, foundations for this. This is the uh, solitary wing, and it's going to be really weird to do the foundations for it. Look at that. It's like a one block bit of foundation. I'm sure that'll work. Not. There we go. Good. Now, um, some lucky... Ooh, a shiv. Some lucky prisoner. Ooh, a fork. Ooh, a spoon. Anything else? No? Yes, maybe. Just, what is the big flashy thing? Okay, we'll just ignore that for now and hope that it doesn't reoccur. So, this is going to be a shower. Uh, this is going to be some lucky prisoner who's probably going to get an extra little bookshelf because I wanted an extra load of cells and that was how I figured it out. Um... I do also want some windows in the shower cubicles, which is going to be these things. And I think that probably having the shower on the edge is actually not the best idea, because then there's a window and then they can see outside. And I don't want them to do that. No. Don't want to get the the, the smell of freedom, let alone the sight of it. Just in case they, they go up to the window and start <laughs> sniffing. They might smell it. They might get the taste of it, like the taste of blood. Never give a chicken the taste of blood. Apparently they go mental. Or let them see red. Dun, dun, dun. Right. Solitary. Oh, they haven't actually even started building it yet. Bob! Get your ass in gear. I want to see stuff. Now, do we go for just standard jail doors or solitary doors? Uh, I think standard jail doors. They're pretty tough in a lockdown. There we go. And hopefully that will go into open mode. This here, this little boxy thing, uh, is a watchtower. So we're going to purposely stick a guard in it for no reason. And he won't be able to look out because there'll be, like, walls around him. But, actually, if we put windows in, then he will. Window. Window. There you go. Now you'll be able to see out. We can also have a window here. How do you like that? Do you like that window? I hope you, there's no one in there. I'm talking to a wall. Wow, I'm going crazy. Okay. And we can also stick some security cameras on the edge of this to make sure we have full coverage of the area because this is going to be their yard oh that lights go away and you and you okay brilliant 
This also wants to be made out of uh, concrete walls, so we're going to have to force uh, Bob, Jeff, and Gil to redo the walls, even though they've just built them. But ha, ah, you have to redo them. So suck it. There we go. All right, wall, wall, wall. Bit there and there. Done. We can also start implementing uh, all of this in here. I do kind of want to build all three of these out of concrete, but it would look kind of weird because the rest of the prison is built out of bricks. So why is there a conga line of Trevor trucks all stuck outside here? Hmm. Also, we can now implement the new road get in spoon. Honestly, that was uncalled for, spoon. Um, I need to press the button to get the bigger thing to try and find the road gate. Where is it? Uh, road kit, road kit, road kit, road kit, road kit. Show, show yourself. You're all probably pointing at it. There it is. <laughs> okay, road gate. Gimme. Gimme. God, that cost a lot. That's an expensive freaking gate. Wow. All it is is some little gatey, wiry stuff. And look how much bloody sheet metal. No one's working, are they? No. I was looking at it going, why is no one working? And it's because they're all fat and eating. And it seems that we're alright on the whole eat situation. We we have a lot of eyes, which is good. Yeah. If you didn't know that was good, that's good. I means good. I. It's very good. Th that's not good. Go away. Thank you. Wow, that was a quick autosave. Quick autosaving. I like it. It's something new. It's fresh and unknown. Right. Um, do we have a large jail door into here? That would look kind of cool. Uh, yeah, why not? And the, I don't know, just large jail doors. How much is a solitary door? Only 500. I think that's gone down because I think they used to be a thousand. Maybe they didn't. Anyway, solitary, 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 solitary. I've done that one. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight solitary, and we can get rid of all of the other little blobs of solitary that we got around, like down here. And over here, and we can make them into cells, and then we'll have more room for more prisoners. Yep, at the current, we actually are at maximum capacity. What is this? We never get max capacity because ugh, everyone's always leaving because they don't like me. Actually, there's only, only Christopher Cox is the only one who's due to release right now. At this exact second, he is, he is, he is leaving or he is attempting to leave. We've probably, like, Stuck him in a pit somewhere and locked the door so he can't leave just for the fun of it. Uh, oh, I genuinely think he's not leaving. Oh. oh no, is that him? Christopher Cox, yeah. Bye. Hope you had fun in prison without name yet. After 59 episodes. Should probably sort that out. Eh, maybe later. We're doing this and this is fun. And Bob. Bob. Oh, no, Betty. Actually, you're not Betty. Betty's the man who... Oh, God. I'm so ashamed. I did that at, at the uh, Christmas party as well, and she got very upset. She said that, uh, you know, working with her for at least a week, I should remember her name, but I didn't. And she was... Yeah, she was a little mad. Anyway, Sheila or Margaret? One, Whichever one you were. Can you can you go get another door instead of a flipping window? I'm going to put it on super speed. There we go. And actually, like, install it in this building. This building built without a door in it. I think that means they won't actually... They won't actually... There, ah, that's weird. Okay. I, I've had this problem before when a building builds without a door in it. And you can't actually ever get a door built into it. Because for some reason they need access to the inside. Which is why it actually says you require a door in the first place. But, oh, well. So... The fix for this is to actually build a building into another building that you've already built which has a door into it to then actually manage to open a gap in it so they can then put the doors in it and then shizzle whizzle happens and uh, we'll smile and jump and joy. Jump for joy. Yep. Brick walls. Building inside of here. Here we go. Build the brick walls. Where do we want the doors for this? Do we want them kind of... We'll have them all on one side. We'll be different. Oh my god. Differentness. Actually, that's the kind of thing I like about this area, is it's going to be different from the main prison. Because the main prison is fairly standardized in a, our kind of prison -y style, but this is going to be a bit weirder and wiggly with strange-looking building thing. Yeah. 
Uh, you're probably not going to want the door there, are you? You're probably going to want the door there. No, actually, there's fine, because then I can put the crapper there, a bookshelf there, and a bed there. Sorted. Or I could put the door there and you have to go in like that, but then that would be strange. And the other person wouldn't. Yeah, never mind. There we go. It's like some kind of weird T that's been struck by lightning. Hmm. Hmm. Next. Okay. Uh, is that... That way around. That looks about... Is it like that? Or is it like that? It should be like that. Okay, so now it just looks like some kind of weird snake thing. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. There's all the bu uh, walls, buildings, walls, wallsy buildings built for that bit. Let's fill in this bit. This is going to be the uh, the laundry. I'll leave a one tile there so they can get through and don't lock themselves in because they're dumb and they probably will do that. Right, this is going to be facing this way. No. Bad me for putting it in the wrong place. Ha! Ah! Did it right. Thief. Probably made you jump because I said half. Probably didn't because that wasn't very loud. I'm going to shut up now. Yep. And this wants to be going the other direction, doesn't it? So, there? There. No! Oh, for God's sake. Why am I such an idiot when it comes to placing bits of freaking wall? And that, I think building a wall is a difficult task. There we go. Done. Bob, you you can go through. There you go. Go. Let's set this to open, actually, because otherwise they're going to get stuck there, like, all the time. Up mode. Up mode. See? They're all stuck. They're always all stuck. There's never a time when they're not freaking stuck, is there? Right. Well, while you build all of that shite, uh, we're going to move on and look at some other things. Right. The snake's raven. Uh wanted to know what I'm doing with this. The answer is I'm blowing it up! Well, I would if there was... I could blow it up if I put a power station in there, a shower, a cell, and just waited. But I did that in the Alpha 17 update, so if you want to see... No, 16. Alpha 16 update. If you want to see me blow up a prisoner at the power station, it was kind of cruel, but kind of cool at the same time. Go watch that video. Okay. I think it is, um... It's time to say goodbye. Time to say goodbye. We like really sad music as we uh, we bulldoze the old morgue, which served very little purpose other than containing. There's probably a lot of blood in there. It did have a few bodies in it for a while. I think. I think. No, I don't think Larry went here. I think it was. It wasn't a morgue when when, when Larry died. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Have fun in the afterlife of morgue buildings that are no longer morgue buildings. I'm sure you'll be happy wherever you go. Where the frick did that crash? I, I was I was saying goodbye to the It's gone! No! I was saying goodbye to the morgue and and then I moved up here and then it started doing that and then like five minutes later the game crashed. And it corrupted that previous five minutes of footage, which was, that was annoying. Anyway, um, I don't know, I don't know where this is, this is autosaved from. Because autosave just decided to, well, it was there forever. It was like a bad dream. An entire night of autosaving, staring you deep in the eyes. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Um, okay, it, it seems to have actually autosaved where it infinitely decided to just autosave. So, let me fill you in on a couple of the things that I did, um, if I can remember. If I can't, well, I'll try. I'll try, I promise. <laughs> oh, <laughs> why does this always have to happen to me? We employed uh, two new janitors here. George and a Cassandra. Yes. Uh, there are new two janitors because there's just a... a like smear of, of gunk and crap all over the prison. It is looking pretty darn disgusting. Uh, the needs shows that the environment is pretty ick. Look at the kitchen. It's just, it's covered in crap. It's disgusting. Ew. They probably actually want to put some white tiles in here as well. I can't believe I haven't done that yet. 
White tiles in the kitchen. We'll make it look fancy. Yeah, there we go. Fancy white kitchen tiles and a screwdriver. There. What did you... Did you try and escape? Or did you just sit there? Who knows? Not me. So what are you guys doing? You're doing the laundry. I don't employ you to do the laundry. I employ you to clean. Please proceed with the cleaning action. Thank you. Right. Okay. I think this is actually a fairly decent place to stop. Oh, come on. It's clearly an entrance. Fine. Let me just put this in first. There we go. And there. Actually, we'll put it there. That'll force it to do it. I think we will uh, we'll round up this ep spoon episode here. Um because it's coming up to about 20 minutes anyway, and that's about how long we go for. And drill. Oh, okay. And we will start again next time and hopefully have less crashing uh, of amazing annoyance. So, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you next time. Bye.